Hi. <coughs> this is crop anatomy lecture five. We will be looking at the middle lamella. Uh, no, uh, we looked at that already in lecture four series, but. <laughs> In lecture 5, we'll be looking at plasmodes matter. Plasmodes matter is um, a cytoplasmic strand that connects one cytoplasm of its own cytoplasm to another cytoplasm of another cell. As you can see, this is how it moves. It has two forms of cytoplasmic movement. It has a symplastic and the apoplastic. The symplastic flows through the cytoplasms and the apoplastic flows through the cell walls. So this yellowish line inside this green area. That is the apoplastic pathway, and the symplastic pathway is through the cytoplasm. The relationship between cell wall and protoplasm is quite close. Protoplasm of one cell remains connected with that of a neighboring cell by delicate strands of cytoplasm called plasmodes matter. This name was derived from the Greek word desmo, which means strand. So what we call plasmodes matter, we are referring to plasma strands. And this dates back to Strasbourg 1901. The strand fills minute passages which constitutes which constitute the only breaks in the primary wall of two cells. Okay? In the primary wall there are openings and that's where the strand passes through. Plasmodesma is found in the cell wall of all living cells to maintain the continuity of the protoplasm. So long as there is a protoplasm in the cell, in the plant cell, there is um, a protoplasmodes matter connecting the boat, whether it's whether it's in the marriage stem or in the stem itself or in the leaf, there is a connectivity between all living cells. And that connectivity is made possible by virtue of a plasmodes matter. They either occur in groups or are distributed throughout the cell wall. Group plasmodes matter is usually localized in the primary pit fields. They are thought to be concerned with the transport of materials from one cell to another and conduction of stimuli. So they are thought to be concerned with the movement of materials from one cell to another and conduction of stimuli. Stimuli is um, the transmission of uh, neurochemicals, electric uh, neuropulses from one cell to the other. So for a plant to receive stimuli, it is aided by a plasma test matter in the cells. So they are thought to be concerned with the transport of materials from one cell to the other. Okay, you have read that. It is also regarded as channels permitting the movement of viruses from cell to cell. Now, for a cell to be infected, it is through the plasmodes matter that the virus will go through. 
because of the words primarily said word which limits the movement of materials in and out. So it's through the plasma that's made that we in which bacteria, viruses, and all other foreign bodies could pass through and infect the cell. Infect all the cells around it. We have another structure called the pits. The pit is where the plasmodesma is found moving through and out of the cell. The pits are formed in pairs laying against each other on the opposite sides of the wall. And morphologically more correct, they are called pit pairs. In one primary wall, we have a pit. In another primary wall, we have the pit. Both of them are connected together and they are called pit pairs. And the space inside the pit is called the pit cavity or chamber. The separating membrane which separates the two chambers or cavity of a pit pair is called pit membrane or pit aperture. Generally, two types of pits are met with the cells of various plants. For example, we have the simple pits and border pits. Two border pits, that means they have borders on the pit. It's called a border pit pair. Two simple pits equal to a simple pit pair. A simple pit plus a border pit lying opposite each other is called half border pit pair. A pit that occurs opposite an intercellular space has no complementary pit. That means uh, we have two cells. <coughs> We know that two primary cell walls are separated by the medulla lamella, and we have one pit on one of the primary cell walls. However, <coughs> instead of having an opposite, sorry, excuse me, instead of having an opposite primary pit facing the other one, we have only an intercellular space. So when we have such a situation, it's referred to as a blind pit. Simple pits. We have simple pits can be found are the parenchyma cells, the medulla rays, the phloem fibers, companion cells, and tracheids of flowering plants. Bordered pits can be found in vessels of angiosperms and tracheids of conifers. This is what the, the pit looks like. We have the pit cavity here. Yeah. This is a pit cavity. We have the pit aperture, like I told you, the membrane, the membrane that separates the cap, the, the um, the membrane that separates the two chambers. Okay, so we have the pit cavity. We have the pit aperture. This is a bordered pit. These are the borders. We have the torus, which helps to close one part of the pit. The margo is a strand that holds the torus. So we have the pit membrane, the pit aperture, the pit torus, the margo. All right, so this is a simple pit, no border. This is a bordered pit with borders. We have the secondary wall, the middle lamella, pit membrane. Okay, so yeah, this is the end of our lecture for lecture five series. We looked at the plasmodes matter. Kindly study this images, study how they are constructed and have understanding of what they stand for. You have to make further research on this information to know more. However, what you have here are the basic things that you need to understand what plasma desmata and pits are. Subsequent lecture will look at a series of organelles um, ranging from the nucleus and so on. But thank you for your time.
Thank you for being a part of this lecture series. Thank you and see you next time.